So today marks the start of my absolute favorite thing about being a YouTuber. It is the Project for Awesome. Basically, the Project for Awesome is something that happens every year in which the entire YouTube community comes together and uh, makes videos about their favorite charities and talks about them and raises money for them. Uh, it's been spearheaded by John and Hank Green of the Vlog Brothers, and it is just something that excites me very, very much. This year, like last year, I'm going to talk about To Write Love on Her Arms, which is an organization whose mission I like a whole lot because it vibes very similarly to what I do here on my YouTube channel. To Write Love on Her Arms is an organization that's dedicated to bringing people who need help to the help they need with things like depression, anxiety, addiction, mental health issues in general. Not only that, but they have a very strong community vibe about them, which is something that I appreciate very much. Just by one visit to their website, reading about where they came from and what they're doing just makes you feel so empowered and proud of the work that's being done, and it makes you feel like you're not alone. One of the questions that I get more often than most questions um, is, how do I get help? And that's a question that when I get it, I almost get upset because I don't know how to answer that question all the time because it's different for every single person because I'm not a therapist, I'm not a licensed psychologist, and I don't claim to be, nor do I really want to be. Everything I do on my YouTube channel is primarily just me showing you my process as a patient and hoping that helps someone else. So the work that To Write Love on Our Arms does is exceedingly important because it gives people those options, it shows them the different pathways, and it reminds them that they are not alone in this fight and that is something that is incredibly important. One of the things I love most about To Write Love on Her Arms is their accessibility. They're very active on social media. They're very consistent. They're very frequent. They're very passionate about what they do. And it can come across as a lot of cliched, optimistic, fluffy stuff, but to be honest, sometimes you need that. And to be real honest, it's something that I need sometimes. I know in these videos I come across as okay and someone who is doing real, real well and someone who always has it together, someone who knows what to do when different situations arise. And I think I'm doing pretty well, but doesn't stop me from struggling every once in a while. There are days where I feel like I can do nothing right, where I feel completely worthless, where I ponder why I'm even trying at all. I have dark days like that, and I have them rather frequently, but that doesn't stop me and part of the reason is because of safe online spaces like this and like to write love on her arms. And they are so, so important for my process and I think that they can be so important for millions of others as well. So if you want more information on to write love on her arms, you can definitely check out the link in the description. Uh, you can check out their website, uh, peruse it for a bit. It's really awesome and I think they do incredible work and they're doing really good things. And if you want to help them out in the Project for Awesome, click the second link that I have in the description to vote for them and to vote for my video. Um, that way they could maybe get a lot of money donated from the money that's being raised by the Project for Awesome and that's something that would be really great for them and something that I think would be a victory for a lot of people who are suffering from mental health. But yeah, that's about it. Like I said, the Project for Awesome is something that I love so so very much. I encourage you to participate, to leave comments, to go to the live stream, to make videos about your own favorite charities, and to submit them, and to just do it big. It's my, this is the day I let my nerd flighter flag fly a real heck of high. But uh, yeah, as always, I'm Connor Manning. You've just become a little more awesome, and I will see you guys on Monday. <laughs>